Hello and welcome to the Foot Basics Dribbling Training. The materials we will need today are a football, some cones, and an agility ladder that we will use for the warm up. If you do not have an agility ladder, you can use the cones to make squares. Agility ladders are great to improve speed and agility, which we will, we will need in this training. In this first drill, all you have to do is place one foot in each square. Your heels shouldn't touch the ground, only use your toes and touch the ground for as little time as possible. The second drill is the same, but placing two feet in each square. Make sure to drive your arms to help you move quicker and stay coordinated. The two feet sideways drill is similar to the previous one, but we're gonna move laterally. In this case, my foam wasn't very good, as I should have drove my knees upwards and my arms. And remember that form is more important than speed. And so as you master your form, you can start going quicker. In the lateral in and outs, we're going in and out of the squares, moving laterally and placing two feet in each square before moving to the next. Remember to do this on both sides. Moving on to the more difficult drills for more advanced players. The first one is the karaoke. Going laterally, bring your back foot to the square in front of you as you put one, of your, one foot in front of the other. Use your hips to rotate and remember to do this on both sides. Next exercise is the reverse crossover. It's similar to the karaoke, going forward rather than sideways. Coordination is very important or you could trip on your own feet. Place your back foot on each square to then put both feet outside of the ladder and repeating. Finally, we have the icky shuffle, moving diagonally through the ladder in and out. As one foot goes inside, the other moves outside. The first exercise after the warm-up is the cone weave, a very basic dribbling drill that aims to improve your touch with the ball. Place all your cones in a straight line, the closer they are to the, each other, the harder the exercise will be. You then have to dribble around each cone using a combination of outside and inside of the foot touches, or a specific touch if you're trying to master a type of touch. Once you reach the end of the line, dribble around the cones and go to the other side. Make sure that you put both feet around each cone and touch the ball as much as possible. Do this for 5 sets of 2 reps, where a rep is going to the end of the line and back. The second drill is the diagonal dribble, an exercise that targets agility. Place 4 cones 8 steps away from each other at a 45 degree angle. Dribble to each cone as fast as possible whilst touching the ball each time you step. Once you reach a cone, quickly turn in the other direction. And once you reach the last cone, turn around it and come back in the same way. You can turn using a variety of touches, so try practicing with the outside and inside of your foot.
If you're confident, you can try skill moves like the Ronaldo Chop. Increase your pace on only once you're confident or you will lose the ball easily. If you find this exercise difficult, place the cones closer together and only use your strong foot to turn. And do this for about 6 sets. The third exercise is the square dribble. It is a drill that focuses on changing directions when dribbling. Place 4 cones 8 steps apart from each other, creating a square. Dribble around the square, turning 90 degrees at each turn, doing so for a whole round. After a round, turn in the other direction and repeat. Try turning using the inside of your foot for one set and the outside of the foot for the other. Once again, you can use skill moves as well. Do four sets bearing your touches. The fourth and final exercise is shuttles, a speed exercise. Make four short lines of two cones at a chosen distance. Every time you cross a line of cones, the aim is to quickly turn around and run back to the start, then dribble back to the line of cones that you haven't been to yet, and do this until you reach the final line of cones. Finally, turn around to sprint all the way back. Place the cones closer together to make this easier, and to make it harder, turn using skill moves. Thanks for watching.